Hi everyone, I'm Jono Page and I'm in the mood for some red and I don't know, brown and some gold and it was a bit difficult to uh, find some material because this is not my usual palette that I like but I am in a mood so I uh, went through my stashes and took out so whatever I found that uh, will, will work I'm not sure that I will um, use everything but first of all is the gathering of the materials and I have here some scrapbook paper this is just a uh, lots of, of pieces from magazine pages that were in the same uh, color scheme and I just glued them to uh, some paper so now I've got something new to work with left over from a gift paper bag something from a kids game another scrapbook paper some brochure I got and I really liked all this color in the back so I kept it and so we'll see what's what's going to happen I'm just going to start tearing pieces and this one is the only one that is real red so I'm going to start with it and I want it to be with a torn edges so I'm just going to tear it like this don't know what will come out of it and I don't mind that I have the white edges I'm going to start gluing this to my page right now I'm just I think I'll just use a glue stick most of the paper I have here is not so thick so this should probably work if not then I will switch to a white glue so I'm just placing it wherever this is quite intuitive and let's see I'm just trying to get rid of all the straight edges I don't like them and I'm just going to glue them wherever okay next in line as I said this is quite intuitive you put down wherever you feel like it and even afterwards if you don't like it you can always cover it so just go with the flow <laughs> what can I say have fun with it okay let's see as I said I really like this so let's see how it works. I don't care what it says, what is printed here. I just care for the colors. And once again, I don't want straight edges. Let's see. Yeah, this is going here. Okay, I need to switch to another glue stick. Yep. Okay, what do I want to use next? This one, this ugly one. <laughs> I don't know. This could work, but I feel like these two are too dark uh, together, so maybe I should put something a little lighter here and then I will put this piece let's see if I can tear this because this is quite thick after gluing all 
these tiny pieces from magazine pages. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. Okay, going with this. Still have a straight edge in there. Okay. So maybe, yeah, let's go with this. If I won't like it, I will cover it. Okay, I want another one of this, but maybe a longer one. So. Yeah, I want to have a repeat of more than one time I have from each page so it will create some kind of pattern. So now I'm going back to this red and let's see. Just trimming a little bit, it was too wide for me to use, and I don't like this little bit, so <laughs> I'm taking it off and trimming and playing. There are no rules, just having fun with it, and it's just scraps of paper, okay. And let's see. Another one just from the brochure. And what else? Maybe some of this with gold. It's quite thin, so it doesn't tear very well. Nah, not going to use it. Let's see, haven't used this one, maybe I will keep it to uh, the most, uh, to the edges, it's too dark. I'm going to try and let's take this one. So I'm just going to tear more pieces and glue them down and then I'll come back. I'm back, so I've finished with the uh, torn strips and just remembered uh, I took this and I took all this uh, apart and I'm starting to tear this also. And I have an added bonus <laughs> of this color. I think it will be nice, although I wasn't planning on it. So I'm thinking of just playing with the pieces and adding them. I don't know. I'm going to put some, of course, some focal point on my page. So part of it will, uh, will be covered, but nonetheless, maybe, I don't know, just playing and we'll see what, what I'm getting. Maybe a larger one here. I don't know. 
<laughs> okay, decided on this. So now I'm just going to glue this. I'm using a, I think I will use silicone glue because it's glossy and it will give me trouble with any kind of other glue silicone glue i have from the cheap store so uh, the only brand i know that has a silicone glue and they are international is the yuhu glue the ones that come in a, a tube not a stick that's silicone glue but there are a uh, lots of other uh, stuff there probably uh, if 6,000 will do the trick and gel medium also will work on this glossy thing <laughs> and someone also told me that Fabri-Tac can work or Eileen I take it Ta tacky, I think tacky glue, <laughs> the clear one. I don't know, we don't have it here, so I can't tell you. So I've got quite a abstract background that now I need for all the glue to, to dry before I'm doing anything because it's uh, glossy it's give and uh, also thick it's giving me trouble so i'm just going to uh, put some plastic on top and some pressure and let it dry and then i'll come back okay got my background and now for the focal image now as you know as per usual i'm playing with all kinds of leaves and branches uh, this was done on, as you can see, a tracing paper until I was satisfied with the result. And then I just uh, took a copy paper, carbon paper, or whatever. <laughs> there are so many uh, names for this. And I just traced uh, the final result that I liked into this white page. And there, is, there are some smears from the copy paper, but here it is now just a few uh, ideas how you can do something like this and you don't need to be a painter first of all take any photo of if it's a flower if it's a branches with leaves there are all kinds of uh, photos everywhere and thank god for uh, the internet you can find lots of uh, also free printables but if you have a picture a photo of something you like and you can also go out outside and if just photo any branch that you like then you have tracing paper and you can just go around and trace around the image that you like another uh, thing is i went outside and i've picked some leaves and i've dried them now i can also I can work with them and use them in my uh, Arjona's S is and I also scan them into my, uh, the computer and now I can do all kinds of stuff with them but that's only if you are uh, into Photoshop and doing all kinds of stuff and of course it doesn't have to be scanned you can just uh, put it in any uh, copier machine and you will have something to work with so just photocopy it okay so and of course if you've got a stencil that you like and you want it to be your focal point then again you can use that now I'm I want to uh, I'm going to color all the leaves with gold and then I want to add some details uh, to each one I will uh, do one leaf just so you can see, I'm using, using a acrylic gold a marker from the cheap store. And it's just easier 
It's like uh, using a Posca pen. There are all kinds uh, out there of uh, acrylic markers. And once it's dry, I'm going to uh, do some lines with a black uh, permanent marker. Again, from the cheap store, this one is for <laughs> CDs, DVDs, and I really like them. They are good and they have uh, two tips uh, so you can play with the thickness of your line and they are cheap. So. I'm not uh, going to uh, do the lines uh, yet because it's still wet and I don't want to ruin the permanent marker. So what I'm going to do is just go over everything with all the leaves with the gold and then I have the pleasure of fussy cutting this <laughs> focal image. So I'll be back. Okay, I'm back and this took a long time. Uh, especially the, the fussy cutting around and I've left here and here white I can remove it but when I've put it here on the page I really liked it I'm keeping it and I just wanted to show you what I've done with the leaves just used the thin tip of my marker and just made some lines nothing to it and you can doodle whatever you want inside your leaves I just went with this. That's it. So now I did fussy cut it, but as you can, I don't know if you can see, but there is a little bit of white and I'm leaving it. I think it just adds to the whole. It's like highlights in uh, several places. And now I just need to glue this down. And I think yeah i think this is the place for it so gluing it down and coming back and this would probably be it for this page uh, i'll be back okay i'm back it was quite a trick to glue all these uh, small uh, pieces of the branch but i've done it the <laughs> here goes to stubbornness and i really like what's going on here the only thing is I uh, uh, this part is bothering me again just because it has straight edges so I'm taking just a little bit of red acrylic paint and I'm just going to go like this and just to make it a little bit less uh, in my face and this red is just a little bit too much so again, I'm just playing and now I'm taking some kind of brown and okay, now I can live with it. So this is it. Now I only wanted to uh, show you something else. So I had this design that I really liked. Now I can, of course, scan it uh, and make other things. Another thing that I usually do is when I have a design that I like, I will uh, turn it into a stencil. I will just uh, copy it to uh, acetate and cut the leaves. This will just be, um, the stems will have to be done by hand. I can't uh, cut this thin that it will work. It will <laughs> I'm not a machine, so. I will cut the leaves and I will have a stencil and another thing that I'm doing with when I have a design that I like is I'm taking tissue paper and doing something similar again tracing it to a tissue paper and now I can use this in another project and it's on tissue paper because if I have texture and uh, all kinds of stuff in the back when I glue it down it will uh, mostly disappear into the background, all this white. So just two more ideas uh, to work with. And this is it. That's my page. Thank you for watching and thank you for leaving me comments down below. I'll be seeing you in my next video. Bye for now.